Alright, welcome back to NASCAR Heat 3 Career Mode. Uh, after our exciting Daytona 500 win uh, last night. Oh, we're on the Xfinity race. That's why I was so confused. So it's like a 250. What are we doing here? So we'll sim that Xfinity race. Uh, we don't need to be uh, messing around with that right now. I'll do the Xfinity races when I feel like it. But um, 100 and some thousand dollars, so not bad. I don't really care about the reputation with any of these guys. Um, they don't matter. Uh, we've already been, we're already an Xfinity champion, but uh, we'll move on to the whoop. What do we got here already? Already? Oh, well, we can lock in a five-star team right now. Well, okay. So Wood Brothers Racing will already work with us for next season if we do have to stay here. Let's go get a Hendrick ride if we can. My goodness, if I had a choice to w of where I want to be, that'd be it. Hendrick Motorsports. Let's go. All right, already. And then uh, Xfinity. I mean, it doesn't matter. Let's 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 go get a Junior Motorsports ride wherever they are. There we go. All right. <laughs> so we've already guaranteed ourselves. Uh, a five-star car next season. That's fantastic with that win already. Unbelievable. But uh, let's get out to the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500 at Atlanta. Love this place. Love this track. Let's go out and get it done. Welcome to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Folds of Honor Quick, quick, pep, dip, 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 quick Trip 500. Um, it's a fast track. We already have a custom setup. Oh, thank God. Um, no need to practice. It's uh, flat out around here, if I remember correctly. So let's get out all here. Right. Dig, driver. Man, this car looks so good. Just all the time. Like, it never looks bad. This car is so, so sweet. So this is really going to be a good test as to where this car is speed-wise. I'm, uh, I'm not really sure how fast it is. I mean, of course, we won the last race. But with restrictor plates and all that, we don't really know what we have with this Wood Brothers 21. So, we'll see a little bit better here at Atlanta. And as this season well, goes go on. Give us all you got. Oh, that's a big slide up the racetrack. Sliding's not really good for going fast at any point, but definitely not um, in qualifying when you only have one chance. We could turn on real qualifying with the rounds and whatnot. Off turn four, 27. I'll take it. We'll see how uh, how fast this car really is, but uh, pretty good uh, pretty good lap, other than sliding up the tra track a, a little bit. Um, in, uh, what was that, one and two, three and four? I don't even remember, but um, I'll take it. Mid-pack. I might not be so chill if we hadn't won the Daytona Welcome 500. Welcome to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the running of the Folds of Honor Quick Trip 500. This 1.5-mile oval is popular with both fans and drivers alike. It's popular because 21 years of wear has widened the racing groove from the apron to the wall. There's very little grip, which produces side-by-side -side action and close finishes. Now the track surface was all set to get resurfaced after the 2017 race, but an outpouring of opposition forced them to push that date back. Will we get another close finish today? Let's head on down to the track and find out right here on PRN. PRN with the call to start this one as we get the folds of honor quick trip 500 underway. Great scheme there for Kyle Larson. Absolutely love it. As we start from the back of the field. Not the back of the field, but almost. So we'll see how hard this really is. All right, now. Be smart out there. Go Gotta be green. smart. Be Hopefully ready, we get sir. some long green flag runs. Green flag, green flag. Let me turn the volume down just, just a touch. Got so I don't deafen you guys with the engine noises. We have started on the inside exactly one time all Still season Looking inside now. and it was on the restart that won us the Daytona 500 
There's our car from a season ago, the 51 of Harrison Rose. From Stanica Patrick down the right racetrack. The You're all clear up top. Clear all around. Let's see what kind of speed we can now. get on the outside groove. Not a whole lot. Don't have the speed to drive around people in this thing. Still there. Got a car load now. Well, well, maybe we do. Ray Galding's gonna run me up the racetrack. And then the 51. Of course, is right there as I try to come back down to the bottom. Had to lift mid corner because Greg Alden couldn't Still make there. up his mind on where he wanted to be. And look oh, at the 88 of Alex Bowman, who must have had a penalty because he's starting in the back for some reason. Still there. That's some speed we can look forward to really next season. Car there on the inside. The outside just does not have any speed. I'm trying. Still there. I'm trying. I just I don't have a way to the bottom. Contact with the 51. Made contact with Danica Patrick. Oh, She'll outside, spin now. through the inside crash, and that's a little bit of karma right there. Uh, four seconds are repair as we crash into our pit box, as does, um, I believe, Reed Sorensen. I have to come down pit road, fix that damage. But man, just nothing doing there. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't make anything stick. We were racing a three-star car and we just could not pass right, them. Alex there. Bowman and Ready. Um, Greg Alding brake checking me didn't really help. So all I want is the bottom of the racetrack. It's really just kind of been all I've been fighting for this season with 14 to go in stage number one. Like I said, not every race is going to be like Daytona. We're going to struggle in some. And these races that are primarily flat out, yeah, may have some problems. But I think we'll be a lot faster on the bottom of the racetrack. I think we have the speed to maybe have a mid-pack car uh, doing that. And Chris Bush are going to cut me off, Careful. of course. Like, is anybody just going to give me room here in this race? Probably not, eh? No reason for him to just come down the racetrack other than cutting off my run. Still there? And then Brendan Gone is gonna break check me. I mean, for the love of God. Still there. I am not getting raced with a whole lot of courtesy right now. Still there. Every corner I'm getting something silly happening. Still there? You're all clear up top there. Come on, Brendan. Let's move now. Maybe we'll catch a a little bit of a break with some caught. I mean, you wonder why we're not able to make any passes. They're just two abreast all the way around this track. Stay high up there. Careful. Go there. I may have made a mistake here. I'm just going to back there. off. I mean, the, they, they slow down on the corners, but then I just, if I try to make a move on the outside, all right, I just don't have go. the speed to do so. Again, oh my goodness, can I not get somebody taking off my front bumper? That's the fourth time in stage one. Watch the hate after the race. You race me dirty. I'm going to wreck you next time. Yeah, really. Jesus. Thank you for that host, Luger. Finally starting to get single file, but it's just going to be a little bit too late. Tried to give LaJoy a bump. I'm like, just, just get going. We're so much faster than everyone else in the corners. Keep it up. That was your best lap ever. 
Is this your first race in this game? Uh, given that we're about, I don't know, 100 races into career mode. No, nah, I'm going to say no. Don't I have, do I not have season eight in the title? Okay, all right. Got it. Poor LaJoy is going to wreck me once again. Fifth time, and there we go. The funny thing is, I'm getting raced like this. I don't have a single rival. Not one. Don't you dare dive bomb me. It just looks like the first time you played. I. Dude, what is this dude? Like two years old? That's that might be giving him a little bit too much credit. <laughs> Pay no attention to the trolls. I give I give all trolls the same the same suggestion. Like just Pornhub.com, man. I feel like it's a, a better use of your time. Come on. Give me a run, Corey LeJoy. I'm just not getting a draft off anybody today. I mean, our car being... Oh, Busher. Oh, yeah. He can, be, he can be a troll all he wants. I'm honestly enjoying it. It's hilarious. Twitch trolls honestly are the just most interesting creatures on this planet, especially when like they actually think that they matter and that they're affecting the streamer. It really is hilarious. So I'm gonna have to come down pit road here, aren't I? How many laps? Oh no, we can uh, we can stay out, but I don't know if it's smart. I do not know if it's smart. It would get us a stage win though. Those valuable playoff points. We know we're already in the, uh... Oh, look at Busher, though. Holy holy hell. Oh, no, don't, no, do not bring out the caution. I don't know if this is really a rant, more so a conversation. If you want to rant, stick around a little while. I'm sure you'll hear one about uh, 704 NASCAR Heat uh, 3 here eventually. I'm going to stay out, hopefully get us some uh, hopefully get us some play uh, playoff points, but I'm a little worried that we may not be the only car that can make it to the end, considering all these slow cars are out here and we're only in 7th place, so unless they can somehow make it to the end, which it looks like they're going to be able to. Uh, wait, I can't even pit now. I was going to come down pit road there. I can't even pit. Two laps to go on the stage. Bring it pit road so. here. We're almost out of fuel. White flag. Dig, driver. <laughs> Dear God. Okay, man, you're fully ignored. <laughs> Trust me. Look at this dude. Keyboard warrior, man. Top 10 that stage. That's worth a few points. Well, my plan didn't really work all that. Woo! Well, hold on. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. If I stay out, that's going to trap a whole bunch of cars a lap down. Because if they get... If they... Yep. I'm going to stay out. They're going to get trapped a lap down. If I would have pitted, I think they would have gotten the wave around. Has the green so I'm going to trap them all a lap all down. And that could. How many? How many laps? <laughs> we have to pit this lap though. But we're gonna be in some pretty good shape here. 
in some pretty good shape. English. English. Oh, no, don't, uh, Bubba Wallace got the dive bomb on me. Why am I so slow up here? I'm going up against three-star cars. Look at it, we're just sinking like a rock. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. We got to get down to the apron. Hopefully, don't spin her out. No, don't wreck me, don't wreck me. I'm trying not to hit the brakes because I, I mean, look at this. I'm turning, like, dead right. Dear Lord. Okay, well that didn't go overly well. <laughs> I ran out of gas mid-corner, so I was like, I don't want to get Arca break, so I went down to the apron and just slid all the way through turns three and four. Uh, we're gonna have to take some tires, full can of, or full, full can of fuel. Full, uh, two cans of fuel. We still can't make it to the end of the stage, though. That's very, very bizarre. Well, I mean, I guess that does make sense. They couldn't make it to the end of stage one. Why would we be able to make it to the end of stage two? Oh, look, we were attentive and taking better that time. You're clear of pit road. Oh, we're in 39th. Well, pit stops here at Atlanta took a little bit longer than I thought they would. Can I get some formal beans go uh, beat some meat in the chat? I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Yet I know one of you is going to do it. Probably Lunar. Well, we're just drifting around in the back now. Much else we can do we tried to, we tried the strategy call but uh, we got outsmarted there a little bit ah yes those dragons damn dragons though lucky Logan nope can't say I did considering I don't know who uh, lucky Logan is I mean, if we want to talk about how I got into NASCAR, I mean, we can gladly do so. <laughs> so looking back on my strategy call now, it's not worked. It has not worked at all. I'm going to assume somebody DNF'd. No, Harrison Rhodes is just dead ass slow. Well, considering we were the driver of the 51 a season ago, makes sense that it's in last. Yet he's actually gaining on us. Well, at least he was there. Had a tenth of a second on us. Well, now we know how the four-star car acts at a non-restrictor plate track. It's literally just as fast as the three-star cars on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> just kind of riding around here trying to finish this one off. The commentary before the race said I could run on the apron. Do you think that's true? All right, time to go. Because I don't believe it. Can't run on the apron at any track here. Caution. Well, not sure what I want to do here. Um, we still got eight laps on the fuel. We can finish this stage. Corey LaJoy is going to stay out. 
up into P8, and we're on the lead lap. Beautiful. So that worked out well. We're at the back of the field anyway. I was actually going to pull over and let everyone go by because I know how slow we are in traffic, but don't even have to. We'll finish top 10. Get, right, get ourselves right back into this thing and then we'll get a free pit stop because of the stage break. We don't even need to push it. Don't need to be pushing anything. I'll pass Kyle Larson maybe on the inside, but don't want to do anything stupid that's going to get ourselves wrecked here. Still there. As I nearly do something stupid. That gets us wrecked. Freaking Daniel Suarez. And around he goes. All right, around he goes. That should end the stage, maybe? No caution. Oh. There it is. Nope, it hasn't ended the stage. Has not ended the stage. I'm not even with you, Lunar, just because the other guy's a troll, but I am with you. I've always said Dale went up against tougher competition. If that's really a thing, I mean, I mean, I, I'm not saying that Richard Petty's not a great driver. How could anybody possibly say that? I mean, 200 wins is nuts. But you look at where the sport was when Richard was winning all those races, and where the sport was when Dale won all his races. You got one to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna lead towards Dale, but 200 wins is still nuts. I am literally all over the back of Matt D. Burrito over here. Uh, I'm just trying to make, to try, try to get this home. Whole bunch of guys are still a whole bunch of laps down. Well, look at this run, we got through the corner, but it's almost too much for the car to handle. I can't even keep the car <laughs> on the track. It was drifting all the way through the corner. And there we go, eighth place in stage two. We get some points because of that. Depending on how the points shake, uh, shape out, we could be the points leader here. But uh, oh, once again, we're faced with a decision. If we stay out, though all those guys are trapped a lap down and we could be looking at what is at worst, maybe a ninth, 10th place finish when this is all said and done. We're looking at points here. We know we're not going to be good enough to win this race. But I'm going to stay out. Kyle Busch got the free pass right, because now, of the caution. Out there. Going green. Almost ready. Car on the outside now. We will have to pit in a couple laps. We'd be lucky to get a caution. Stay on the lead lap. but Long way to go in this one. We're only in lap 45 of 81 today. No, yeah, Tony Stewart's not a murderer. Absolutely not. Especially considering they found that that guy was uh, was high at the time. Well, I say we couldn't win. Look at this. We are we're leading. But Bubba Wallace is pretty fast, and Joey Logano's in a five-star car. So <laughs> I don't know. We are doing some Daytona-style blocking. Equal with Logano in one and two. Nowhere for us really to go. Car there on the inside. Just trying right, not to wreck it, to be honest. Gonna have to pit in a couple laps, Hold but I want to stretch it as long as I can. All Hopefully clear. limit it to just one pit stop. How does Tony Stewart tell somebody to... Okay. Okay. Where did Reese Sorensen get that speed from? Whoa, don't arc or break me. Uh, careful. I'm with you on that one, Lunar, but I just, I'm not going to, okay, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not an argument worth, worth fighting. <laughs> Dear God, 34 to go. Um, I think I can stay out one more lap. We know we're going to get lapped down, but we'll get it back at one point because we know they can't make it to the end. We know they cannot make it to the end. 
I hope I'm not making the wrong call. We got one lap to go on the fuel, which means... Oh! Well, that's a break. That is a huge break. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, that's a massive break, considering we could literally just drop back, ride around for the rest of the race, and get just outside of a top 10 finish. So we're gonna pit here, obviously. Pair the car, sure, why not? Four tires, two cans of fuel, hell yeah. Can we make it to the end? No, we're gonna have to pit one more time. Okay, all right. I've had enough. Coming to the green, driver. Ready. I've had enough. I let it go on for far too long. I'm sorry. Oh, Look at this, the inside already. We get good All restarts right, off of it. Got a car high now. No, oh, Kyle oh, Busch is going to dive on me. Come on, come on, come on. I really don't have to be too aggressive. I, I don't know what I really should be doing here. Just ride around on the high side, to be honest. And hope we don't get dive bombed. Stay high, stay high. Still there. Car there on the inside. Things go our way. Worst spot we're going to be is about 10th. Hold your line. Got one inside. We can ride around in the pack. We just we just can't do anything else. Still there. Car there on the inside. Hey, later, Lunar. I'm going to be done after this race anyway, as I might have just wrecked Clint Boyer. Straighten him out, straighten him out, straighten him out. Come on, keep it straight. Jamie McMurray's going to dive bomb the inside of me. Stay high, stay high. Still there. Ty Dillon, my nemesis from the Daytona 500. Can we just publicly say, though, that Ty Dillon punting me down pit road actually won us the Daytona 500? Because that pit stop was what made it so that we could make it to the end. Oh, ow. Massive ow. Car on the outside now. Bad right, Brad, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick. We got championship contenders behind us. Outside. All in five-star cars. Right, Car high, careful there. Falling back through the pack, but that's fine. It doesn't matter because none of these spots are for position. So I'm honestly just gonna try and find a way where they can make it around oh, us. Got one inside. And I don't get wrecked. Looking inside now. Ty Dillon is the car on the inside though, who is shaping up to be our rival here, which is crazy considering he drives the 13 car. Austin Dillon in the three behind me. Is uh, RCR a three star or a four star team as well? Because if they were a five star team, I'd love to drive the three. Still there. Talking about driving some classic numbers. to go on the fuel eight I wouldn't be shocked if we got another caution as well Ooh, caught the grass a little bit there I've been really cutting that close all day pitting long cars, first time there. I've caught the grass pitting cars why we got cars that need pit stops, or are they pitting early? No, nah, it must be needing pit stops. I see four or five cars on the apron. Keselowski, William Byron, Alex Bowman, Eric Almirola. 
Lots of cars down pit road. And there's a line of cars right, on the bottom. You off the front, pitting this time. Some cars pitting this time. So we will have a little bit of an advantage in one respect in that all these cars pitting right now, they have to take on more fuel. We have six laps to the good. But will they have to pit again? Did you imagine? Oh, wait a minute. We're leading. Oh, we've led a lap. That's a point. Isn't it? Pitting cars just ahead. Pitting cars just ahead. Well, beautiful. How are we this off sequence with everyone else? We've been... We've been on sequence with the other weirdos all, all day. On the outside now. Ryan Blaney, former driver of the number 21, <laughs> right in front of us, nearly uh, really took off our nose there. So we both lifted to make sure that we made the corner. 20 laps to go. Could you imagine if the caution came out now, as I believe we put everyone a lap down? Got to be careful on this fuel. Got to make sure we have enough. No, we haven't put everyone a lap down. Ryan Newman, Ty Dillon, Ross Chastain, Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney actually just unlapped himself then. I have no practice getting onto pit road here at Atlanta. So it's going to be an interesting one. Too bad we can't make it to the end, eh? But stay out as long as we can. Make sure that uh, if if it's close on fuel, that we can make it. 18 laps to go. Man, it's going to be very, very close. Pitting cars just ahead. Pitting cars just ahead. I'm wondering if that's Blaney. It is. So we could lap them back. We're going to lap them back right here. It's going to be interesting to see where this all shakes out. Pit this lap. We don't have to pit this lap. We can stay out two more. That's going to be very, very close. As Greg Galding and what do you know? Right on cue, Trevor Bain. Oh, boy. Well, this may throw all that strategy we've done to keep those cars a lap down out the window. Because uh, Ty Dillon is the only other car in the lead lap. And, oh, boy. Well, see how this shapes out. Or, I mean, I don't know what to do here. No, we got a pit. We got a pit. We got a pit. But I think we're about to give the entire field their lap back. Yep, sure did. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. They may not be able to make it to the end, though. I think we can. 14 laps of fuel remaining. How many laps to go? 14. I mean, we can make it precisely. There's no way we luck into a win here. Or maybe even a second-place finish. Inside. So there's no way that some of those other cars can make it to the end. There's no way. Outside, outside. Unless they pit it on that outside. same lap, they're going to be about a lap short on fuel. My goodness. Could we have played this perfect? I know all these spots that we're about to lose. We are about to lose these spots. Um... They're going to be for position. But no reason to panic because we know we're in good shape strategy-wise. And our car is even showing a little bit of pace right now. Hanging right on the back of Eric Jones. We are uh, technically in second spot. In fact, we are. I don't know what these cars are doing up here. It's one of our fastest laps of the race. Ty Dillon is your leader. I think the worst thing we could see right now is a caution. This has got to go green the rest of the way, but what a strange running order this is. Ty Dillon, your leader. 
from me, Greg Golding, Joey Logano, and Ryan Blaney. Here comes Logano. This will be for position on the outside. Outside. It's breathing the throttle. Don't want to cause a wreck that could completely throw our strategy out the window. Greg Golding, that'll be for position as we open up the bottom. Blaney. I see Larson. And I think Bubba Wallace in my mirror. Careful, still there. All right, Just hanging out Inside. right now with 10 laps to go. Stay high, stay high. Pass still me there. all you Inside. want. Bubba Wallace is trying to make it three wide here. Stay high up here. Careful, still there. A wild ride. Finally make it back down to the bottom of the racetrack. That middle line, our car really isn't fast as it is, but when we're on the bottom, we can at least, like, stay with the pack. Nine laps to go. Look at an eight in the race. We somehow saved fuel. Back end stepped out just a little bit there. Chase Elliott back in 37th. This is just the exact same strategy we implored in our two races that we actually ran with Rick Ware racing a season ago. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't crash. Carlson's out. Wave him off. Well... That's not, that's not good. Not good at all. Because now it's all, all right, for position. I think our Don't shot at the win is now out the window. Replay Allowed everyone that uh, needed Outside. to pit the ability to do so. Lap 77 to of 81. Five to go to the inside of Greg Alding. Could we do some Daytona Outside. style Outside. blocking to potentially win this race? Michael McDowell with a shot from behind. Oh, Great, look outside. at Greg Golding. Ryan Newman is up in the mix with Danica Patrick, outside. Ryan Blaney. And we're just getting freight trained. Already outside, back outside. to P8 as we punted Michael McDowell. Around he goes. And what could wind up being a big wreck. My oh my. It is overtime from P10. See how this one goes. Be smart. Keep your head on straight. Ready? Ring, ring, ring. Casey Kane on our inside. Try to nail down a top 10 here. That'd be a dream, huh? One hell of a start to the season if we can get it. Stay low, stay low. Still there. Look at the speed that Brendan gone has. I mean, my goodness, it's insane. We've left the bottom open for Casey Kane. Oh, look at the physics there. No, we're up in the wall and we're wrecking. Oh, what a race we had going. Oh, I didn't even pit. <laughs> well, it's gonna be, it's gonna be 21st here. Um, in Atlanta, as long as we get another caution, I'm just going to honestly let them all go by. I just want to finish this race. Actually, 20, no, 21st. Yeah, we'll lose that spot to Dave Reagan. Nothing to shake our head about. I think we ran a pretty good race uh, given the circumstances. Our car is overheating. I don't think they'll be able to catch us in two laps. I sure hope not. They are making up time very, very quickly. Oh, I don't like that at all. I do not like that at all. But the good thing is, no, they, they are not going to. Oh, boy, this is actually going to be very, very close. All right, let's we have go. a 25-second lead over 22nd place, Brad Keselowski. In our overheating car. 
Uh, I think we're just going to hang on to this 21st spot, but um, this finishing position is definitely not going to be, I think, what we probably deserved. But not much else we could have done, especially that um, mistake to not pit there in the end. I think they got held up by the cars that finished the race. So we'll finish in 21st wow, spot I here in Atlanta. Oh, well, well, that's it. encouraging, crew chief. Um, I think we did run a better race than, um, like I said, than what we finished. But overall, not too worried about it. Did what we could. Uh, didn't catch a lot of breaks here in this one. Not at all. Take a look at how we got here. A wild, wild race. That strategy was completely all... Like, the, our strategy the entire race was just to keep the whole field a lap down. Like, that was what our strategy was. Was just to, to keep them a lap down, which is what they got trapped as with the early caution. And the early advantage that we had to pit early. Trace could have been a whole lot worse if it wasn't for that, but not too bad. Not too bad there at all. But Bubba Wallace with a stage win. That's obscure. I think this must be DiBenedetto just... Oh, well, that wasn't much of anything. Some door-to-door -door contact. This, I think... Oh, this was... Um... Corey LaJoy is uh, engine expiring. Big, big crash there. We caught air at one point in this one. Air towards the very end. How about Bubba Wallace Jr. winning stage two? I wonder who won this race. If it's Gray Galding, I swear to God. There's a pass for first in the pit stop sequence. Another pass for first on Greg Alding, although it didn't last long. And I think this is the, yeah, this is the big crash here. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go find ourselves a thumbnail with our crashed up race car, eh? Can I get a better look at my car for Christ's sake? Oh, here we go. That's not too bad. <laughs> that looks terrible. That may have to be the one, but um, yeah, could have been better. Could have been worse. Overall, like I said, not too worried about it. We're in the chase regardless. Who won? Let's see here. Last car on the lead lap after our crash damage. Great car! <laughs> oh my. Well, there's a car that we might be able to beat in the chase, just barely. Ray Golding is your first time winner. Second first time winner this early season. What is going on? I, I give up. I officially give up. The money, who cares, $160,000. Fourth in the point standings with five playoff points, so that's what's important. Not too bad. Um, I think we can do some damage at the short tracks this season, probably not so much at the speedways, um, at least until next season. Yeah.